in this video we are going to learn few more types of graphs we know euler graph we have already studied euler graph euler graph is a graph which has an euler line euler line means it's a close to walk which traverses through all the edges of graph g exactly once now you may get the doubt is there anything any close to walk which traverses through all the vertices of graph yes so we are going to define hamiltonian graph based on this only hamiltonian graph or hamilton graph is a graph which has hamiltonian cycle what is hamiltonian cycle it's a close to walk same as euler graph euler cycle it's a close to walk which traverses through every vertex of g exactly once except the initial vertex it's a close to walk the traverses every every vertex of the graph of the graph exactly once always remember except the initial vertex in euler cycle or euler line Uh, we are traversing through every edge of a graph exactly once here we are traversing through all the vertices of graph exactly once but except the initial vertex hamiltonian cycle or hamiltonian circuit is a closed walk that traverses through every vertex of a graph exactly once except the initial vertex if my graph has hamiltonian cycle then i'm calling that graph as hamiltonian graph or simply hamilton graph for example i'm taking graph with four vertices say six edges like this 1 2 3 4 a b c d e and f are the edges if i start from this v1 i have to take up all the vertex vertices and exactly once okay i'm starting from vertex 1 then i'll take edge a vertex 2 edge b vertex 3 edge c vertex 4 and edge d and i'm coming back to vertex 1 so this is my walk first walk close to walk of course starting in initial vertex is same and i'm traversing through all the vertices exactly once except the initial vertex so this is also a hamiltonian cycle so i can say this graph has a hamiltonian cycle therefore graph is hamiltonian graph i can even find one more walk in fact i'll start from vertex 4 vertex 4 i'm taking an edge e then i'm going to vertex 2 then i'm taking vertex a Uh, sorry edge a vertex 1 and i'm taking an edge f i'm coming to vertex 3 and then take c h c i'm going back to vertex 4 so i'm i've started from here going like this so this is another walk so which is also hamiltonian walk or hamiltonian cycle therefore my graph is hamiltonian graph in other words i can say 
a circuit in a connected graph G is said to be Hamiltonian if it includes all the vertices of graph G. I can give few more examples if you want. Uh, this is example 1. If I take simply like this. Okay. Vertex 1, 2, 3, 4. A, B, C, D and E. Then work a Hamiltonian cycle. I am defining vertex 1, A, 2, 1, A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, D and I am coming back to vertex 1. This is also Hamiltonian cycle. Mm. <coughs> Another one if I take Always you have to point out the vertices, okay? Now, vertex set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <coughs> Edges A, B, C, D. E, F, G, H, I, J, K and L. I'll define a Hamiltonian cycle for this. Only one cycle if you find it's enough. Okay. <clears throat> Starting from vertex 1 only I'll take up. Vertex 1, K, then I'll take vertex 8, J, 7, I, 2, B, 3, G, 6, F, 5, E, 4, D, and I'm coming back to 1. Starting from 1, K, 8, J, 7, I, 2, B, 3, G, 6, F, 5, E, 4, D, 1. You can define few more also. No problem if you define 1. So these are the examples for the Hamiltonian graph. Hamiltonian graph is a graph which has Hamiltonian cycle. Hamiltonian cycle is a closed walk that traverses through every vertex of a graph exactly once except the initial vertex. Remember one thing, if I have a Hamiltonian uh, circuit in my graph with the n vertices, then it has exactly n edges. If I have, see here you can check, here I have my graph Hamiltonian graph with the four vertices so my Hamiltonian circuit will have four edges this if you consider this is graph with four vertices so my Hamiltonian cycle will have four edges Hamiltonian path is a uh, simply a walk I am um, closed walk from this Hamiltonian cycle. If I remove one edge, any edge from Hamiltonian cycle, then I am going to get Hamiltonian path. Hamiltonian path is obtained by removing any one edge from the Hamiltonian cycle. 
next is one more type of graph which is very important as we always deal with the simple graph and simple graph is a graph which has no self loops and no parallel edges now another thing another type of graph is complete graph in graph theory mainly we deal with uh, simple graphs and most of the time simple graph means uh, uh, simple graphs and complete graph okay what is complete graph complete graph is a, sim a simple graph this is also a simple graph in which there exists an edge between every pair of vertices it's also a simple graph it's a simple graph in which there exists an edge between every pair of vertices every pair of vertices it's a simple graph but in this graph between every pair of vertex there is an edge if a complete graph has n vertices okay then it has n into n minus 1 by 2 edges if my complete graph has n vertices then it has n into n minus 1 by 2 edges and one more note you have to remember in a complete graph with n vertices how many hamiltonian circuits are there can we find it out in fact x there is a theorem which says in a complete graph of n vertices there are n minus 1 factorial by 2 hamiltonian circuits okay if this is true when you take n values number of vertices greater than or equal to 3 you can check it out by taking k3 k4 uh, means complete graph on 4 vertices and complete graph on 3 vertices see if i consider this graph these two graphs they have four vertices no problem but here between one and three there are no edges right here between one and three there is an edge so this forms a complete graph means between every pair of vertices if i consider one four there is an edge if i consider one three there is an edge between one and two there is an edge so between every pair of vertices there is an edge therefore this is the complete graph we call this graph as say k4 complete graph on four vertices this is not complete graph because between one and three there is no edge so if i consider complete graph with n vertices then it has n minus one factorial divided by two hamiltonian cycles provided n greater than or equal to three one more type of graph that is tree it's a connected graph without any cycles a graph without any cycles is nothing but tree it's a connected graph connected graph without cycles or circuits without cycles for example if i say if i take two vertices then this is also a tree if i draw simply a word um, three vertices I'm taking like this then this is also tree if I join these two then it has a cycle therefore it cannot be a tree if I have there is there is no edge in between them then it is a tree like this now in tree we can observe one thing it has only one path 
between every pair of vertices say if i have mm, tree like this okay see this is my tree okay now if i consider these two vertices of course there there is no edge between them if i take these two then the only possibility to reach from this vertex to this vertex is only this way if i consider from this vertex to this vertex i have to move from this to this the only possibility is i have to go by this if i consider from this to this then i have to take this root okay so which is which is nothing but exactly one path is there between every pair of vertices when you consider a tree so the theorem which states there is one and only one path one path between every pair of vertices in tree vertices in tree in fact if see here in tree i'm saying there is only one path if i consider in a graph if there is an one and only one path between every pair of vertices then that graph has to be tree we'll prove this part there is only one path between every pair of vertices in tree i'm proving i'm taking tree and i'm proving that it has got only one path between any pair of vertices in fact every pair of vertices we know tree is a connected graph so it has to have at least one path between every pair of vertices since it is connected see t is my tree which is a connected graph connected graph therefore there must be at least one path then we'll prove there is only one path since it is connected there exist at least one path at least one path between every pair of vertices okay now suppose uh, there is two uh, vertices if i consider say two vertices a and b a and b are my two vertices let there be two disjoint path between a and b if there are two disjoint paths between a and b then these two disjoint paths their union gives me a circuit okay if there is a circuit then it cannot be a tree therefore there cannot be two paths between a pair of vertices say a and b therefore there is exactly one and only one path between every pair of vertices